Welcome to episode 31 of the Viral Marketing Show. If you're looking to get results with Facebook advertising, you are going to learn the top five Facebook advertising audiences for lead generation. So welcome back to the Viral Marketing Show. I'm Frank Klesich, your host and the CEO and co-founder here at Viral Marketing. We're here at Viral Marketing, our firm, and the show is to help you attract business so you don't have to chase it by publishing educational content, educational videos, uh, to get your word out about you and to solve problems and answer questions that prospects and customers are commonly asking so people can spend time with you online and you can scale to reach more people. So people call you to see you as the trusted advisor that can hopefully solve their problem with your product or service. That's what we're all about here at Viral Marketing. And before we get into why you're here to watch this show today of the top five Facebook audiences, that you wanna run ads to for lead generation. I'm gonna share with you the top five that we've tested out here at Viral Marketing. You are free to use, they are going to work, they are warm audiences, they are fantastic. I'm gonna tease you, we're gonna get to it here shortly. But before you start doing Facebook ads, there's other things you need to do to build up to that point. Don't jump right to Facebook advertising as some shiny object that's gonna solve all your lead generation worries, it's not. It starts with the official video marketing plan that we offer right here at Viral Marketing. It's the plan I want you to implement it's the plan all of our clients implement to get business from your lowest cost lead source, the best lead source, your database, your existing database. It's the people who already know, like, and trust you. It's your past clients, it's your customers, it's your current, uh, current clients, um, uh, unconverted leads, hot prospects, friends and family even, your centers of influence, all those people. Think of all the people you have in your email account, Outlook, Gmail, CRM. We gotta have some way to stay in touch with them in a valuable way. That's not you know being a pest. You want to be a guest, right? And you do that by publishing content. So if you go to the homepage of our website, you can download the official video marketing plan that will teach you how to reconnect with your neglected database if you haven't been staying in touch like you should be, how to add people to your database, how to go out and get their email addresses, how to publish educational Q and A videos like what you're like you're watching now. I do a show format, but you don't have to be this advanced. Just some simple Q&A videos right from your webcam that we recommend our clients to do and you to do to start. And then how do you prioritize your follow-up with the people that are watching the videos? That's pretty cool, because that can all be tracked online. In addition to that, inside of our core service, because you could hire us, so you know, to help you implement that plan, that's what we do here at Viral. We interview you on a webcam, edit your videos, send your emails. We do all that for a flat monthly rate. And in addition to that, included, for those of our clients that are watching this, Included in your fee of our core service, we actually include some limited Facebook advertising out to a few of the audiences we're gonna talk about today, all right? Which leads me to about a year and a half, two years ago, we started experimenting, doing a lot more advanced advertising than just the limited Facebook advertising that's currently included in your fee. We started running YouTube ads, banner ads, and all types of Facebook ads for a select group of our clients that could afford uh, to probably spend another thousand dollars a month, to be honest with you, uh, on advertising as a piece of their marketing budget of their marketing mix. And the results, honestly, all over the place. Something that worked here didn't work here, and something that worked there didn't work there. And you haven't really seen me push a lot of Facebook advertising here because it very is very inconsistent if you don't do it right. Okay, but one of the things we found very consistent were the top five audiences that were the most response, responsive, rather, that were the most responsive to offers. And offers something like, I don't know, contact us here at Viral Marketing to help you with your marketing, or buy a ticket now to our event or our workshop, or go here and download this free report. Or for those of you in real estate, it would be click here to find out what your home is worth. Put your information in, you have a seller lead, right? Or search for homes, or come to my seller workshop, or come get a free personal fitness training session or free music lessons you know, or discount music lessons. There's, those are all offers. Does that make sense? When you run offers to these five audiences, I'm gonna share with you here in a minute, the response rate is much better than any other audience you can run them to and you're gonna explain why. But before I get to those five, you can scan through the video to get them shortly. Before I get to those five, I wanna share with you how to set up an advertising account. This is very important to maximize those five audiences, okay? So I'm actually gonna take you into my Facebook advertising account. And this, the way you set this up, by the way, also works on AdWords for YouTube ads and banner ads. I'm gonna show it to you in Facebook, but they work 
any type of advertising structure works with these general principles I'm going to share with you today, all right? So if you're at the point where you want to experiment with some more Facebook ads beyond some of the limited Facebook advertising that we include for you at Viral because you get the most bang for your buck that we include in the core fee, this is how I want you to set up your account or this is how we'll set up your account for you because we do offer an add-on service now, month to month, our Facebook advertising, actually YouTube, Facebook, and display advertising add-on service. So if you're looking to get more results quickly to get your name out there and you have some money to put behind it and you wanna see what Facebook, YouTube, and display advertising can do for you, we'll give you a consultation. We'll set up your first ad totally for free because it is hit and miss. First ad's totally free, no extra charge. And then going on, we'll run the campaigns for you for a monthly amount. And here's how we're going to set up your campaign structure. Follow me here. So I got my computer screen here. Let's go to my computer. Let me show you how our campaigns are set up right here at Viral Marketing. Okay? So it starts with an offer campaign. An offer campaign is a series of offers like I shared with you before. Get my free report, come to our event, you know, call me for, you know, request a consultation, um, you know, opt in to, you know, search for homes, find out what your home is worth. These are all offers, come to my open house, whatever it may be, all right? These are all offers and you can have a whole list of them. There's nothing wrong with running five different offers. But the offers run to warm audiences of people who already know who you are. And we're gonna to get to those five audiences in a minute, so hang on. But you always run offers to warm audiences or people who already know who you are. It drives your relevancy score up, it keeps your costs low, and it generates a much higher quality lead and you get better results. So Frank, you may be asking, well, how do I get people to know who I am? Aha, that's a great question. You run an awareness campaign. So the goal of an offer campaign is a sale, a lead, to track a conversion, to get someone's contact information. Those are your traditional lead generation, direct response offers typically driving to some type of landing page where you can track how many leads I got for how much money I spent. Offer campaign out to people and you run that to people who already are aware with you, aware of you, interact with you. Now, how do you build that? How do you get more people to know who you are? Well, that's an awareness campaign. So here at Viral, I have two awareness campaigns running. One is to promote the Viral Marketing Show. That's simply optimized for nothing more than views. I just want people to watch it. Just watch the show, spend time with me online. I can teach you something, I can help you. That's why I record these and that's why you record your videos too, is because you can help people as well, all right? And we also do some client success stories. These are Google Hangouts or webinars where I interview our clients about how they're implementing the viral marketing plan to reconnect with their database like I share with you at the beginning of the episode to how they're getting results, okay? So what I did here is here I want you to think about this. The two awareness campaigns, or an awareness campaign in general, is designed for engagement. It's designed for sharing. Don't hide things behind an opt-in. Just get it out there. Put the videos up on Facebook. Get people to consume your content. Spend time with you. Get to know who you are. You know, don't put it behind a paywall or an opt-in. And you want to spend enough money to get it out to your whole target market. So for us here at Viral Marketing, I'll actually take you into the campaign and show this. I really did a very good job for our target market of like, if I had to build a list through the options on Facebook by job title, profession, maybe um, friends of friends, whatever it is, of the people most likely to hire viral marketing, the people most likely to watch this show or to hire our firm to help you with your marketing, the list size, the size of our target market on Facebook, if you took the total market of all the people that have the problem we solve, the total size is about, I believe, about 23 or 25,000. Let's take a look. Uh, yes, 23,000. So the total market of people that I think would be a great fit, you, person watching this, for us, is about 25 people, 23,000 people in the United States. That's pretty small, relatively speaking, but it's very, very targeted, okay? So the goal is, how do I get these 23,000 people to know me? Or whatever the size of your market is, whatever you come up with, how do those people know who you are? Well, you gotta build some awareness. And you do that by publishing educational videos or client interviews out to them. From the videos, they're gonna visit your website, go to your fan page, watch your videos. And once they do that, they're gonna go into your offer campaign. And your offer campaign 
you'll have a series of offers. Let me show you a few. Example, you could have an offer like I have here to come to your workshop. And as you can see, I have a picture of one of our workshops. You can click here and buy a ticket. That's an offer that can be tracked. How much money do we spend? How many tickets were sold? Let's go a little bit further. Let's go down to maybe uh, ask a question. Hey, I'd like to get some interaction here on the Viral Marketing Show. You can go to getviral.com slash ask, and you can submit a question for me to answer for you on the show, as you can see right here. That goes to a landing page. That's an offer. Got it? Let's keep going. The Viral Marketing Plan. Hey, if you're brand new to Viral Marketing, I say this at the start of every show, go download our official video marketing plan. It goes to an opt-in page, you register, you opt-in. I know my cost for every single person that opts in to get the uh, video marketing plan. Okay, those are offers. And you can come up with your offers for your business. But here's the treat, are you ready? If I go back to these campaigns, I want you to understand a good campaign structure in summary is you size your target market. How many people are there that will probably buy what you're selling? How big is it? If you're in health and fitness and general weight loss, it's pretty darn big. If you're super, super, super niche, it's gonna be small. It just depends upon what you're selling. You figure out how big that audience is on Facebook and then you run an awareness campaign with educational videos, interesting content, get people to consume it, like it, share it, watch it. And whoever engages with that stuff, they then go on an offer campaign with offers driving to landing pages to get them to take action to move forward in your funnel, if you will, to buy your product or service, okay? Which leads us to why you're here to the show today. What are the top five Facebook advertising audiences you wanna to run to? So here's what I recommend you do. Before you start an awareness campaign, you already have people that are aware of you. It's kind of the whole premise behind viral marketing. You have a database. You have some current Facebook fans. You have some people that are visiting your website. You maybe have some people that um, are, uh, you know, you have your database, which leads me to the top five options. Let's follow me here. I got off track. The top five audiences are as follows. Number one, your email database. All of the people who already know you, already like you, arguably already trust you, that are currently in your database. You can export those emails from the various systems. It's actually what we do for you here at Viral Marketing when you first start with us, is we round up the emails from all of your systems, combine them, deduplicate them, scrub them, and upload them to an email marketing account to send a reconnect message. Not only do we wanna reconnect with them by email, but let's upload them to Facebook. You see, if you take an email list and you upload it to Facebook, Facebook will take those emails you upload and they'll cross-reference them with ad accounts and you can run ads to those people. How cool is that? So not only are you reaching those people through email or maybe the natural organic reach on your Facebook fan page, but we can also boost ads to the people in your database. And who's more likely to do business with you than the people in your database? It's a warm audience. Make sense? Number one audience. Number two audience. The second best audience to run ads to. Facebook ads to, or really any ads to, AdWords account, display ads, display, you know, YouTube ads, are your website visitors. Have you ever been to a website? Go to a page and then you leave and all of a sudden everywhere you start seeing ads for that widget or that person? Well, that's called remarketing or retargeting. And what you do is Facebook gives you, the, or AdWords, these advertising platforms give you a little piece of code to put on your website. So when you visit it, that code gets installed in your computer and now ads start popping up everywhere. And you can actually build an audience of those individuals. So think about all the people coming to your website, the hundreds if not thousands of people coming to your website from all the advertising and prospecting and marketing you're doing. Oh my goodness. They don't take action on your website and they go someplace else. Oh my goodness, we need to be running offers to those people to bring them back. It's one of the best audiences that you can run offers to, to get engagement. So the second most important audience to run ads to for lead generation is to remarket and retarget your website viewers with offers. And coincidentally, those first two are what are included in the core viral marketing program at no extra charge. We'll actually boost your videos and run your videos and get your videos in front of your email database and your website visitors because it is just a no brainer. And what's really nice is these audiences are relatively small, a couple hundred, if not a few thousand people. You know, a few dollars a day gets you all the reach you need to that audience. So it's not very expensive to reach such a highly targeted list of people who know who you are. That's including your fee. So if you're a viral client, call us up, get those ads taken care of. All right, 
So let's move on. The third best advertising audience to run ads to, that's warm, people who know who you are, are your video viewers. You see, when you put, you put a video on Facebook, you can actually, when you run an awareness campaign and people watch your videos, you can actually track who watches more than say 10 seconds. So if you're watching this video on Facebook, you're gonna start getting offer ads because you've watched more than 10 seconds. It's tracked, isn't that crazy? This is why like all these ad companies make billions of dollars, all right? So if you can actually set it up so every single person on Facebook or YouTube for that matter that watches more than 10 seconds of a video, you can run offer ads to those people immediately. How cool is that? All right. Fourth best audience on Facebook to run ads to are the people who engage with your Facebook page. So let's say people find you, they check you out, or they see one of your awareness ads, and they're like, okay, what are you guys all about? Boom. They end up on your Facebook page. They click around, they do something. That's tracked. You can actually run ads to the people who interact with your fan page. You can run ads to those people. This is nuts. Let's keep going. Last, number five. Last warm Facebook audience to run ads to for lead generation are your Facebook fans, your actual fans. So say you have a couple hundred or thousand fans of your page that you've compiled over the years that have liked your stuff. If you just post like a post on Facebook, you know, Facebook's probably not gonna show much of it. They ask you to put money into it. But you can actually boost and run ads to your current Facebook fans. And without getting too out there, you can actually have your co-marketing partners share their remarketing lists with you to run ads to them as well. But that's a whole other story we'll talk about in co-marketing someday for advertising. All right. So let's review. What are the top five Facebook audiences that are best for lead generation we've learned over the years of doing this with our premium service, our add-on service, our, our complete Facebook, YouTube, and banner ad display service. That's an add-on for our core program. For those of you that want to dabble in that and you know get results with online ads, the top five are your email database, your website visitors, the people who visit your website, the people that watch your videos, say past 10 seconds, the people who interact with your fan page, your Facebook fan page engagements, and then finally the actual Facebook fans. Now that seems to me like a pretty good audience of people that will take you up on one of your offers because the first step of the sales process is trust. Trust, identifying their needs, showing how you can help them, and then moving them to a decision. All right? So these people likely trust you because they're probably, if you're a viral marketing client, they're consuming your content online. All right? So let's go over it. Let me show you a couple other examples. And just I'll just use exactly what I'm doing right now on Facebook at Viral for myself for our show. Okay? Let's take a look. So I, over here, I showed you the offer campaign. The offer campaign includes these five audiences. The email database, website visitors, video viewers, Facebook fan engagements, and Facebook fans. All of those people are receiving our offers. Or you're seeing them. You're seeing these offers pop up on Facebook. And that audience is maybe about five or 6,000 people. Now, we do have a target market of an awareness campaign of a cold market. All the people we'd love viral marketing to hear about. That's about 23, 25,000 or so. Let's take a look at the viral marketing show. You might be seeing some of our ads because we're running ads here to our target market of about 25,000 people. Let's take a look. The last show that I did before shooting this was episode 30 on how to hire talents in the Philippines. You may have actually seen this ad. As you can see here, here it is. And when you scroll down, video Welcome starts. Welcome to episode 30 of the Viral Marketing Show. I just got back from a long flight from Manila. This episode, you're gonna learn how to hire talent in the Philippines. There you go. That's episode 30. All right. Now, if you watch at least 10 seconds of that, or you've interacted with the ad, boom, now you're immediately gonna be on the offer campaign. Is that great? So you can take this structure of, you want faster, quicker results. You want, you want more people to see who you are. You want to spend time with more people in your target market, but doing it manually one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one with manual prospecting isn't getting the job done. Well, after that, you got to use media, okay? So what you do is you figure out, okay, my target market, instead of calling them all, right? Or trying to get them through referral. Let's see if I can reach them with online advertising. Let's start getting some educational videos in front of them. 
Let's start getting some educational content, maybe some interviews. Let's just make sure they consume it. Let's not hide it behind an opt-in. Let's not hide it behind a squeeze page. Let's just get people to consume it. And then once they do, once they find interest, once they spend time with me or once they spend time with you by running the awareness campaign, we can remarket all of those people that consume the content, whether they are in your database, whether they visit your website, whether they watch the videos, whether they interact with your fan page, whether they become a Facebook fan. Now all of a sudden a palette of different offers pop up that drive to a landing page to track results. So how cool is that? So those are the top five Facebook advertising audiences that you wanna run for lead generation run offers to. And again, it's not just Facebook. You can use the same campaign structure if you're running YouTube ads or banner ads or really any type of advertising of picking your target market, running awareness campaigns and remarketing those individuals with offers for tracking. All right? So I hope you enjoyed the show today. My name is Frank Clezitz, like I said, here at Viral Marketing. If you want to hire us to help you implement this, it all starts with our core service. Don't do this unless you start with our core service yet because we can get you more business from your existing database than trying to reach a bunch of strangers online with an advertising campaign. But at some point, your existing database runs out and that's where maybe advertising comes in if that's a fit for you. If you're a current Viral Marketing client, we'll run your first Facebook ad, your first campaigns totally free. Just reach out to us. All right, and then there's a monthly fee extra. Uh, it's up on our website if you wish us if you wish us to run high-level YouTube banner ad and Facebook campaigns for you to help you generate more business. All right, and if you like this show and you want to watch more shows, we publish these every two weeks. You can actually go to our website, scroll down to the bottom, and subscribe to our newsletter to be notified the latest show when it comes out. We're also up on YouTube. You can watch us on Facebook, and of course, we are on iTunes. You can actually watch videos up on iTunes is iTunes podcast that will come right to your iPhone or iPod. So you can watch it that way. And also one last thing, if you have any questions you'd like me to answer for you on the show, go to our website, getviral.com slash ask. And we can actually patch you in and I will answer the question for you live right here on the show. And you can be on one of the future episodes or if you're not comfortable with that, just send me in the question. I'll answer right here without you having to be on live. So with that, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching today. We'll see you next time.